Hi guys, welcome to Goodwill Gate to IIT. I am Pratik, and uh, these are the series of lectures we have for uh, Gate Aerospace Engineering. Uh, so in this complete series, we have seven modules, and each module will be a unit, uh, or you can say a subject in Gate exam, like engineering mathematics, propulsions, aircraft structures, space, dy space dynamics, aerodynamics, flight mechanics, and general aptitude. So uh, the first module which we'll be starting with uh, is propulsion. Now in each module we'll be having separate units uh, or you can say separate chapters. Uh, so uh, in this particular lecture what I'll do is I'll directly go through all the complete syllabus, what books we need to follow in this particular topics and <clears throat> what is the weightage and what topics we should focus uh, first and practice more numericals. All right. So let's let me go through the syllabus. So this is the syllabus I have, which is mentioned uh, on the website in Gate Exam. So this is the syllabus we have this time for propulsion. Uh, so if I'll say, <clears throat> so we have basics. Let me go through this quickly. Then I'll go through this, go through this in some different fashion. So we have basics: thermodynamics of aircraft engines, axial compressors, turbine centrifugal flow compressors, and rocket propulsion. All right. Let me come to this again. But before that. I'll want to discuss this labors in somewhat different fashion. Now, what is this? So first unit, which will be, which we will be starting is Excel flow compressors. Now in Excel flow compressor, there are many topics which we need to discuss like working, how, what is the construction, velocity triangles, enthalpy entropy diagram, degree of reaction, efficiencies. These are the core topics we should always study in Excel flow compressors and practice more numerical. Apart from this, there are many topics which I have not written in this like work done factor, solidity factor, design parameters, stalling, surging, different types of losses in axial flow compressors and so on. So these are the topics we should always focus on. If you have doubt in any one of them, we should not proceed forward. The next unit which will be going is uh, axial flow turbines. Similarly, working construction, velocity triangles. HS diagram like enthalpy and tropy diagram, degree of reactions, free vertex principle and efficiencies. All right, I will deep dive in each of these topics in the coming lectures. Then the next is uh, jet propulsion. So in jet propulsion, we'll be discussing about uh, how the gas turbine engine produces thrust, how your aircraft propels forward, what are the different types of efficiencies associated with it, like overall efficiency, thermal efficiency, propulsive efficiency, what is the fuel consumed, like specific fuel consumption. And once you have all these different parameters which are defined, you'll be combining all these uh, components which you have studied and forming a complete uh, gas turbine engine like turbojet engine, turbofan, ramjet, scramjet, turboprop, turboshaft, all these. So there are few mentioned in this which are very important for your gate exam. Then we'll be talking about thrust augmentation, optimization. Now the most important topic, uh, which I should say in complete propulsion are these nozzles and diffusers. These are non-rotating components, but they are very important. The reason is this is a great deal of portion in rocket propulsion and nozzles and diffusers are also very important when we talk about gas dynamics like CD nozzles and CD diffusers. So this will give you good marks in your gate exam. If you understand this jet propulsion problem is straightforward. Okay. The next topic which we'll be moving on is a centrifugal flow compressor. Now centrifugal flow compressor is totally a different compressor like axial flow compressor in this you have the change of the radius of the flow that we'll discuss when we enter into this unit so it's working what are the parameters like power input factor slip factor what are the velocity triangles what is the ideal work transfer and many topics in centrifugal flow compressors i've mentioned few important topics in this and then in the end we'll go to rocket propulsion in this we'll be studying how the thrust is produced inside a rocket engine what are the efficiencies you're going to define what are the effective jet velocity, characteristic velocity, what is staging in rockets and how rockets are classified, what is a powered flight, what is a coasting flight, all these things which we will be calculating in this. So these are the star topics. These are not the complete topics of slavers, but what I can say is this will cover 100% of your gate questions. So these topics we should focus first. 
then remaining topic we'll go and we'll just have an understanding of them and then we'll practice numericals all right so the reason i have deviated from the uh, syllabus which is mentioned online is uh, what i'll do is <clears throat> we'll have an understanding of excel flow compressor this is connected connected through a shaft and we have excel flow turbine turbine is rotating so your compressor is rotating so these these two are connected through a shaft you will study about after studying these two you will study about nozzles and diffusers so now you have a you have a stationary component which is diffuser then you have a compressor then you have a combustion chamber then you have a turbine and then you have a nozzle you combine them you will form a turbojet engine you install a fan in place of a diffuser you have a turbo fan engine you remove few components you have a ramjet engine so with some properties you have a scramjet engine and so on so you have turbo shaft turbo prop and many engines all right so in this topic we will be also focusing on how to calculate fuel air ratios in combustion chambers and uh, how the reactions are taking place in combustion chambers how to calculate discrematic air to fuel ratios all these things we'll be seeing in this so this is a very deep topic what we can say so you have studied individual topics and then you have combined them and formed the complete engines this is a separate topic which uh, we will not going to use the centrifugal flow compressors because of few limitations in uh, fast moving aircraft but this is an important uh, compressor also and rocket propulsion altogether is a separate topic because it's not an air bending engine you'll be carrying your fuel you'll be carrying your oxidizer and you need to keep check weight in check and then how the thrust is getting produced what is the grains we will be using and there are many parameters which you need to check and bother so if i say uh, marks for each and every topic of the weightage in gate exam exhale flow compressor they will ask this for two marks all right and sometimes they'll give one mark numerical all theory so three is typical you can say for exhale flow compressor same goes for exhale flow turbines and same goes for centrifugal flow compressor so it's work like this uh, two mark numerical most probably is fixed one mark problem either from compressor or from turbine or from both so it varies and when i say jet propulsion you can directly say this is four two six so this is a very very important star mark topic for us so it is four to six very very important topic we cannot skip this we cannot have any doubt in this so i'll be specifying i will be spending more time in jet propulsion okay and similarly if i'll say rocket very very important topic fixed is four and it can go to six also so if i'll combine the minimum marks of propulsion right so it will be 2 plus 2 plus 2 which is 6 and then 4 and 4 so 14 is minimum and it can go to 18 also so you can understand the importance of this unit and for this reason we are starting with this so 14 to 18 marks we are talking about 14 to 18 marks we are talking about in propulsion okay so to wrap up this let's discuss what books will you should follow if you want to practice this so uh, what you can do is uh, veganation is a fixed book it means because we have studied this book in our btech exam so veganation we can always go it's always good to go for veganation so veganation we'll be following and i'll suggest you to directly go for the uh, notes directly go for the lectures i am providing and uh, by the end of this lecture or by the end of the module we'll be providing you with the objective questions which are not come up till now in your gate exam and some tutorial problems which are some lengthier problems and we'll discuss the problems apart from this even after after this you have doubt you can always write to us you can uh, message me uh, you can message on this or you can write directly to us whatever doubts you have that we'll see so this is the module we have so in the next coming lecture uh, we'll be focusing more on exhale flow compressor directly and i'll be talking about working in construction and velocity triangle so next lecture we'll be focusing on this completely so this is the most technical part we'll, we'll, we'll be saying so if you understand this automatically the exhale flow turbine velocity triangles are very much clear in your mind all right so let's keep this lecture short and uh, we'll be uh, focusing in the next lecture more on the technical side okay guys so stay tuned for the next lecture and uh,
please write like and subscribe our video you can always write to us at info at the rate good will get to id.com you can always call us on the displayed number on the screen and please feel free to give your feedback if your feedback is always welcome and uh, <clears throat> you can also visit our website like www.goodwillgate2id.com okay see you uh, we'll see in the next lecture then bye thank you